Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm currently down with a bit of a head cold, so this is always my excuse to indulge in a bit of hibiscus tea in Arabic, Shai al Karkadia. Karkade is um, very popular in Egypt, Jamaica, and the Caribbean. Some places serve it ice, some places drink it hot like a tea, as I'm going to do. Um, and it's been proven to be moderately useful in lowering blood pre blood pressure, so it's quite healthy. So what you want to get is a teacup, you want a strainer, and you want your dried hibiscus flowers. You can find these in health food stores, and if you have a Middle Eastern store in your locality, they might also stock it because it's very popular, as I mentioned, in Egypt. This is the strainer that I use. I bought it on the internet on eBay, I think, and it's great. It just has a little thing that sits over the lip of the cup you're drinking it from. And these are the dry hibiscus flowers. Now something that you want to do is after putting them in the strainer, I always rinse them under tap water just for a few seconds because these can be stored for quite a amount of time. There might be dust and other sort of contaminants sitting around there. So I use um, three tablespoons of hibiscus flowers for a cup, but you can experiment with different strength. It is very strong and tart, but adding a bit of sugar, which is something I only recently started doing, and that's very traditional in Egypt, does really help to kind of cut across the tartness. So what you want to do is, as soon as your uh, water's off the boil, put your strainer thing into your cup, and just uh, pour hot water over the hibiscus flowers until you sort of cover them. Um, at the top and then if you do want to add your sugar this is the time to do it just pour it straight over the strainer I use something like a tablespoon the recipes you'll see from Egypt use crazy quantities of sugar I find that this quantity works uh, perfectly and then also just give it a little bit of a bit of a stir so that the sugar mixes in perfectly and doesn't settle at the bottom of the cup now you want to leave it sitting for about three minutes that's enough to let it infuse uh, properly and after that just uh, pull it out and uh, drip off any remaining hibiscus. It looks kind of like red wine, a hot red wine. Of course, it is non-alcoholic and it's caffeine free, but it does stain quite easily. So just make sure that you've something to catch your stainer so it doesn't get all over your countertop. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to drink. Drink it straight away while it's hot. Some people add a bit of lemon or even mint just to add a bit more flavors. Enjoy.